Hey guys, so we're going to go ahead and move into our uh, next group of movements at the coxal femoral joint, and they are abduction and adduction, abduction and adduction. So now, before I start, a uh, quick and easy way I like to remember how these movements work is I like to look at the first few letters of the name of the movement. So you have abduction and adduction. So we'll start with abduction. Abduction of the thigh at the coxal femoral joint is a movement that moves away from the body, abduction, away from body, right? So adduction of the thigh at the coxal femoral joint moves the thigh laterally or away from the midline. So this is considered abduction, abduction. So the muscles associated with abduction of the thigh at the coxal femoral joint are the muscles that cross the hip laterally. So now you're talking about the muscles of the gluteal region, so your gluteus uh, maximus plays a part, as well as your gluteus medius and minimus. Uh, moreover, the tensor fascia latte also plays a part in abducting, abducting the, uh, the thigh, and your sartorius, which crosses laterally and goes diagonal across the quadriceps. They all abduct the thigh. So now we have adduction, A-D-D, -D, ad. So you're adding towards the body. It's the opposite movement from abduction. So abduction is away from the body. Adduction is you're adding towards the body. The movement back towards the midline, right? So abduction, adduction. Ab, ad, okay? So the muscles that are involved with adduction of the thigh, the coxal femoral joint, are, <clears throat> excuse me, all the muscles that cross the hip medially. So you have your pectineus as well as the entire adductor group. So your adductor brevis, longus, and maximus, they all cross at some point medially, as well as the gracilis, which crosses medially, okay? So there are your uh, abduction and adduction movements of the thigh at the coxal femoral joint.